Hi, I'm Tim Warner, a trainer with CBT Nuggets. Welcome to this micro nugget entitled Microsoft Link Server 2010, Understanding Unified Communications. Unified communications is hot stuff. Link Server 2010 is Microsoft's latest edition of their unified communications, also called UC platform. Of course, that introduces the question, what exactly is unified communications and why is it so popular? Well, here's the deal. UC re represents the integration of real-time communication technologies. Stuff like presence, in which we can at a glance see if one of our colleagues, our boss, our employee, whomever in our organization is online, offline, in a call, do not disturb, away, whatever. It lets you know what's, what's going on with them at any particular point in time. Instant message, also called text chat. Everyone's familiar with that nowadays. Traditional voice chat, video chat, screen sharing, application sharing, document sharing, whiteboarding, polling, etc. The neat thing about this is that those communications are unified with Link 2010 in a single interface. We have a client application called, you guessed it, Link 2010 that enables your users within your organization and even with outside folks, federated partners, people who are using public IM tools like MSN Messenger or AOL, even potentially other tools like Jabber, Skype. Of course, Skype is now a Microsoft property, but you get the idea. Therefore, Link allows people to seamlessly add or subtract these modalities from within a single user interface. So we can, for instance, and you'll see this in our upcoming demo, start off really basic with a text chat after consulting the present state of those whom we wish to communicate with. And then just with a click of the mouse, we can escalate to voice or video. That voice could be peer-to-peer -peer within your organization using straight up VoIP. Or we could go out through the PSTN, the public switch telephone network, and communicate with someone on a analog phone on the other side of the world. We can introduce video if we have a webcam and then various sharing technologies that give us true conferencing and data sharing and collaboration abilities. Let's jump into that demo and I'll show you what this stuff looks like in practice. In this brief demonstration, I'm going to give you an idea of how Unified Communications works with Link. I'm logged in here on Link Nugget as Susan Harder, and as you see, I've set a contact of my colleague Tim Warner. We can see his presence is available, so we know that we have a variety of methods that we can use to communicate with him. For instance, we can start with an instant message. I'll double left click Tim. This opens up a communication window, and I can type a message. You can add emoticons, you can change the text color and do some marking up there if you want to. If you're familiar with chat clients, you're familiar with this. Let's switch over to Tim's computer. We see what's called a toast appear. We can redirect this message, ignore it, or we can reply, which is what I'll do right now. I'll type a reply and suggest that we call. Do a call instead of a, just a text chat. There it is. So what, now what we can do is to escalate this into a call. I'll open the call menu and I'll see any numbers that Tim or the link administrator has configured. This must be his IP desk phone. It's a direct inward dial that I've set up in my test environment. Let's try that number. Give that a click. I don't know if you can hear, you probably can't hear it, but it is ringing on Tim's side and I'm going to accept that call right now and immediately mute my speakers and microphone just to avoid feedback. I'll do that on Susan's computer too. You'll notice that Link is rich in terms of giving us feedback here. It says that your computer is causing poor audio quality. Well, I understand. <laughs> you can add video very easily just by choosing add video. Now, I don't have a webcam on the system, so it's not going to start it, but I just wanted to show you that we can escalate and de-escalate. When we try to close our video feed window, it says you're leaving video, but the call will continue. Okay. Now, again, on Susan's side, we can go over to share, and we can share a number of resources resources depending upon our conference setting. We can share our desktop, a program, we can put up a whiteboard or a PowerPoint deck. There's even what's called a poll. I'm going to choose desktop here. We switch over to Tim's computer. We see a sharing request by Susan. I'm going to accept that. We're transferred into an expanded view of the screen called the stage. And now I'm seeing Susan's desktop from my box. We can continue our chat and continue communicating to our heart's content, you see? Depending upon how our conversation is set up, we can invite additional people to this and make this a conference. We also can drag and drop 
participants into the conversation window to turn it into a conference. I'm going to stop sharing here by clicking the stop sharing button and I'm going to dump the call by hitting the end call button. So I hope you saw the major point of this demo, which is that Link provides true unified communications. In a single application, we're able to communicate intelligently and choose the best methods to communicate with our colleagues, with federated business partners, with whomever, and be able to escalate and de-escalate modalities voice, video, data sharing, etc., just with a click of the mouse. It's just simply a training issue. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.